When I fell down, you'd be there holding me up. Spread your wings as you go. And when God takes you back, he'll say hallelujah. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is the pitch accuracy. Sound check. G'day and welcome back to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials. My name is Dr. Dan and today we will be reviewing and analysing the remarkable Ed Sheeran. And this is a singer who I have admired for many, many years and I know you have as well. B purely because of his just amazing ability to stand in arena-sized rooms, you know, in stadiums by himself with his guitar, his loop pedal and, and hold an audience of tens of thousands of people. And he really is a remarkable, a remarkable performer. Today we're going to be reviewing a song that he did for the 2018 Brit Awards. And this is a, a live rendition of his song Supermarket Flowers, a song he wrote about his grandmother. And it's, it's beautiful. You, you'll have heard it before almost certainly. This is a, a, a wonderfully raw and, dare I say, imperfect performance. And that's going to be a big part of what we look at today. And, but that's not going to be seen. We're not going to frame that as a negative. That is actually what makes this performance special. It's, it's the fact that it is imperfect. And we'll look at things like his pitch accuracy and his storytelling and his... These are all things that come towards building this into a really quite a special performance, special enough that Ed has actually posted this on his own YouTube channel. And artists like Ed Sheeran only do that when they're proud of the work that they've done and, and he should be. This is a wonderful performance. Let's have a listen. Took the supermarket flowers from the windowsill I threw the day old tea from the cup So one of the first things I want to note is no guitar, no loop pedal, just Ed Sheeran and his vocal. And uh, do you know, I think in part there's a reason for that. He, he, this, he wants this to be raw. He wants this to come from the heart. He doesn't want any of that extraneous stuff not that his guitar playing or his loop pedal is extraneous but he just wants you to have full access to him to the lyric to the narrative and i think that's a it's a really brave performance choice to do that to create that level of vulnerability and because that's what this is this is a really vulnerable performance Packed up the photo albums Matthew had made Memories of a life that's been loved I took the Gilwell soon cards and stuffed animals I pulled the old ginger beer down the sink Dad always told me don't you cry when you're down But mum there's a tear every time that I blink Let's also just note the way he's, he's clipping those phrases quite purposefully. It's a choice. And it's giving us this really um, almost spoken value to the lyric. And that's because he wants you to hear the lyric as first and foremost. This is not about Ed Sheeran's voice. This is not about his, his dexterity vocally. This is about a story that he's telling about his grandmother and he's paying this respectful tribute to this to this person who obviously meant a tremendous amount to him in his life. Oh, I'm in pieces, it's tearing me up, but I know a heart that's broke is a heart that's been loved, so I'll sing hallelujah. You were an angel in the shape of my mom. When I fell down, you'd be there holding me up. Spread your wings as you go. And when God takes 
takes you back He'll say hallelujah Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room and that is the pitch accuracy. And you could be, I think, make the mistake of, of seeing this as a negative. And if you've watched enough of my review videos, if you've watched enough of my technical teaching videos, and please subscribe if you get the chance, you would know that I am a, an, a zealot about teaching singers to stop being so darn concerned about your pitch accuracy. Why? Because singing has never been about perfect notes. Singing is about communication. It's about the delivery of the narrative. And this is the prime example of that. Human beings are wonderfully imperfect. And if this were pitch perfect, like if Ed was nailing every single note as he goes along with this, I don't think it would be the same performance. I don't think it would be as authentic. I don't think it would be as vulnerable. Because, you know, when someone's on that edge of emotion, that is, you feel like that person is just about to drop off the, the other end, you know, with um, a sense of um, collapsing into tears, you can hear the voice breaking up. You can hear the, the tenderness in the sound. And we're kind of getting that from Ed, right? I'm, and I, I don't think he's putting this on. I think he's really expressing a true heartfelt emotion that is coming through the voice, which in turn is leaving us with a sense of imperfect, you know, pitch accuracy. This is a good thing, not a bad thing. You may disagree. And if you do, I'm sure you'll leave your comments below. But I personally think that this wouldn't be the same if it was, you know, perfect with every note. I fluffed the pillows, made the beds and stacked the chairs up. Folded your nightgown neatly in a case. John said he'd drive then put his hand on my cheek And wiped a tear from the side of my face And I hope that I see the world as you did Cause I know a life with love is a life that's been lived So hallelujah There's a good example, you know, that run He didn't nail every single note on that But it doesn't matter because it's it's got this sense of longing and, and, and intensity to it that actually I think is benefited by the imperfect nature of it. Have a listen to that again. Cause I know a life with love is a life that's been lived. So hallelujah. You were an angel in the shape of my mom. When I fell down, you'd be there holding me. Spread your wings as you go And when God takes you back You'll say hallelujah oh. It's been beautifully orchestrated, this piece And these oohs are, are just hauntingly beautiful Edge, you know, joining in there love about that section is is it it doesn't get too big like it just sits there because the the story is one of reflection it's one of contemplation and um thinking back through memories and it just allows us that moment to contemplate the times that have been had in, in the case of this particular story of of ed with his with his grandmother Hallelujah You were an angel in the shape of my mom 
And you got to see the person I have become Spread your wings and I know that when God took you back He said hallelujah, you're home mm. You know, that would not have been the same performance if Ed had have played his guitar doing it, which of course he would have, could have, but he de definitely shouldn't have because that stand and deliver of the lyric, that's, that's what that performance is about. It's not about, you know, dexterous vocal prowess. It's purely about the story and it takes a brave performer to do that and you know, hats off to you, Ed, for, for giving us that performance. I hope you enjoyed today's vocal analysis and I hope you, you can take something from, from that and, and apply it to your own singing. Don't get caught up on perfect notes. They're not everything. There is a time and a place for perfect notes and we, we've made that point in other vocal analyses um, to which you can subscribe to the channel and go and check them out. Uh, but of course, um, today's was more about, you know, stories, and I love that. Uh, I hope you'll um, tune in for our next vocal analysis or go and check another one out on the channel right now. Um, we do these analyses every week on the channel, and I very much look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>